Hi there, welcome to Lothar's Guitar School. Today's topic uh, is a basic lesson on guitar tuning. I'll show you three ways how to tune your guitar. The easiest way is to use a little guitar tuner like this. Attach it to the neck and the vibration of the neck will uh, show the tuning and you adjust it accordingly. Always adjust it from the lower tone going up. Tighten the tension, not the other way around, because otherwise the tension uh, might change uh, when you continue and it slips uh, through uh, the nut. So we tune E, A, D, G, B, E. And it really doesn't make a difference if you start from the top or from the bottom. The main thing is at the end, it uh, is in tune. And this little tuner even gives you the chance to see all six strings at the same time. So, we're in tune now. This is one way of doing it. The old-fashioned way is taking a reference tone, like uh, here with a tuning fork, which gives you A440. And then you check if that's the same sound on your guitar. Yes it is. Well, not difficult, we just tuned it. And then you continue tuning by hitting the fifth fret on the A string. And it should sound the same as the open D string. You continue D string on the fifth fret. Same sound as the G string and you adjust that if need be. Then you continue from the G string on the fourth fret you hit that for the B and the open B string and then finally fifth fret on the B string and open E string. And then, last not least, you hit the, the low E string on the 5th fret, adjust it and adjust the E string. So you have uh, on the 5th fret the same sound as the open A string. That's the classic way uh, that um, most of us learned it. There's another way which is very fine-tuned if you adjust it according to the beats, to a beat of the harmonics. And I'll show you how to do that. You have to turn on the amp for that because you need a little bit more volume on that in order to hear that precisely. It can be done without an amp, but it shows better when you have a little bit more volume. And it usually sounds better if you take the bridge pickup, because it has more uh, of a bright sound. So now let's uh, check it by tuning with harmonics. When you press the 5th fret on the A string, by just hitting it lightly, on the fifth fret but not pressing down and then releasing it releasing the finger and on the seventh fret 
of the A string, of the, uh, sorry, of the D string, you have the same sound. And if you listen closely, you hear a little beat between those two. And the beat is a physical phenomenon that happens if two waves sound similar, they're very close together. The difference of the sound is an interference, is that beat. So if this is 440 and this is 441, we have a beat of one hertz. And the goal is that this beat just uh, diminishes and finally uh, goes away completely. I hope you can hear that. And then you continue 5th fret on the D string and 7th fret on the um, G string. And you go down 7th fret on the A string, 5th on the E string. You tune the top E string to the bottom E string by pressing the harmonic on the 12th fret and finally you go from the 7th fret of the E string to the 5th fret of the B string. This was the wrong way. So you can very fine tune the guitar this way. And those were three ways of tuning your guitar. I hope you have fun with your guitar and always sound in tune. See you next time at Lothos Guitar School. Thanks and bye bye.